seen my save date and wondered why I chose a particular part or element? In this video, all your questions will be answered because my sick fake is now going to be explained. The first part that I'm going to be talking about is the torso. I don't really remember why I chose this torso to be my sick fake, but I just really like it because it's Classy, but not too classy. It's, it's casual, but not too casual. It's just kind of like right in the middle there, and I think it just adds a nice look to my channel as a whole. It's just, it's that, it's a common city torso, but it's not a torso that a lot of, I find a lot of people use. I use it for my sig fix. A couple other people also, they use them for their sig fix, but for the most part, it's not a torso that comes in every single city set, so it's not it's not as rare as a CMF torso or something like that, but it is rarer to the point that not everybody's going to have it, so it's not readily available for everybody to use it for maybe their sig figs, because I want to keep it original, but not to the point where nobody can find the torso. So I like this because it was easy for me to find. I you know have a lot of them now because I'm building up my sig fig army. But it's just I just like it. I think it's a cool a cool looking torso. And I'm, I'm glad I chose it because quite a lot of people like I've even gotten I've gotten compliments from other A falls like Bricks are on how he really likes the torso. So I just I chose the torso mainly because I had the torso here in my Lego room when I first started back in 2012 when I wasn't back when I made my sig fig not knowing everybody else was gonna make start making sig figs for everybody. So that's really why I chose it. That's what this torso, why I chose that part. Because it was available, but it looks cool. The next part I'm going to explain is my head. There really isn't too much to say about my head. I chose the Lego part mainly because it looked like me. I just like, it's a, cla it's a standard face. It's just got eyeballs, a mouth, and some eyebrows. Like, there's nothing fancy to it, just the five different parts, and that's because that's it, because I just chose this part because it kind of resembles me. I have brown eyebrows, I have a smile, and I have two eyes, so <laughs> there's not really a main reason why I chose that part. I just liked it. It was it didn't have, like, a ear because I'm too young. It didn't have scars or something like that because I'm not a criminal, so that's mainly why I chose this part. The next part I'm going to explain is my hair. Really, the only reason that I chose this hair piece was because it was the only hair piece I had that was brown that looked cool. I remember at the time that I was making my figure, this was the only other hair piece I have. And you know what? I don't like this hair piece. It looks weird and it looks nothing like my real hair. And because my real hair is brown, it was like a no-brainer to choose the only other brown torso I have. And it's darker than the other one, which is great because my hair's brown, but kind of a darker brown. That's really, <laughs> it was, this was a limited piece, I only had the two options, and if I was making my sick fig again today with all the Lego pieces in the world, I would probably keep the same hair, just because it looks like me, and that's what my sick fig is supposed to represent me. And the final part that I'm going to explain is my sick fig pants. So, the big, I get a lot of questions about my pants. I'm going to talk about that a little later. So now, people are like, why yellow pants? The reason I'm doing yellow pants is because I love the color yellow. Yellow is just a really nice color, that it, a warm color. It makes everybody, it's a happy color. It's, it's just, I really like the color. Like, I don't really know why I like it. I can kind of explain it, but I kind of can't. I just really like the color, and I wanted this color to represent my LEGO videos. So, every YouTuber can have their color that they always throw a little bit into maybe their thumbnails, or on their screen, or in their videos, or on their channel bar banner. And yellow, that's what I want it to be my color. I try and use yellow in my videos as much as I can with its yellow text, or yellow pictures, or yellow bricks. I just like the color yellow. My whole Bricklink store, it's all yellow, and because I just think it's a really 
I like the color yellow, so that's why my Sig Fig pants are yellow. Another reason that I chose these pants, and a reason not many people know of, is they are original space pants from 1980. They are we're from. The old, yellow pants were only made in the 1980-something classic space man. They don't make these just standard yellow pants anymore. So my Sig Fig, while it represents the new, some new parts like the torso, the hair, and the face, it also brings back some of the old classic parts, such as these 1980s pants. You can't just get 1980s pants anymore. You have to order them specially online. And a lot of people don't realize that, that they were actually from. And my original Sig Fig, I think these pants were all my original Sig Fig, like the first one I made. I think these were actually from 1980s. I believe I got these from my grandparents' house. So they really are a special pant. A huge question that I get is, is your Sig Fig naked? Another is, why does your Sig Fig have no pants on? No, my Sig Fig is not naked. When I made my Sig Fig, I had absolutely no idea that having yellow pants would be a problem. And it's not really a problem. Just a lot of people think my Sig Fig's naked, and it's not. I never, ever, 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 ever thought when I made this Sig Fig that anybody would think that. What, so I didn't make, I never even thought at all. And, but now, I, people have commented, like, are you going to change it now that you realize? No, because this is my original Sig Fig. This Sig Fig represents my channel. It represents all the colors that I like. I like the pants, and I'm keeping them the way they are. But no, my Sig Fig is naked. Here is just a list of all the parts of my Sig Fig with the Bricklink part numbers. If you're interested in building my Sig Fig, these parts numbers are the parts that you need to order the parts. And of course, the Lego legs all have the same part number, so you'll just need to get this part in yellow. Thank you so much for watching this video of my Sig Fig being explained. If you have any further questions about my Sig Fig, please comment them down below and I will respond. Or you can email them to me at birthlever18 at gmail.com. Thanks everybody for watching this video. You can go check out my YouTube channel, BrickLover18, for more LEGO-related content. You can also check out my website, www.BrickLover18.com, for all the links to my social media sites. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my channel, comment on this video, like this video, and of course, subscribe.